Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tries World of Horror. Uh, this has been, honestly, on my radar for a long, long time. I think I played it at PAX West two years ago. Um, and I'm just going to read you the elevator pitch. By the way, this code was provided by the publisher. Thank you very much. Experience the quiet terror of this one-bit love letter to Junji Ito and H.P. Lovecraft. Navigate a heckish roguelite reality with turn-based combat and unforgiving choices. Experiment with your deck of event cards to discover new forms of cosmic horror in every playthrough. The inevitable awaits. So it's a horror roguelite. And you're gonna think like a 2D horror turn-based roguelite. How is it actually scary? There was a couple of moments. I mean, first off, there's like disturbing imagery to begin with. But there were a couple of things that it did presentationally where I was like, wow, dude. Like it, it, it really was inventive. Uh, it came out a couple of days ago. Right now it has 98% positive reviews out of 240 Steam reviews. I might lower the volume a little. I apologize. Dear Lord. Well, there's your first scare. Alright, World of Horror. This title is a pre-release beta and might not function as expected. Sure. New story, please. Would you like to customize your next playthrough's look? There are many color palettes. It's okay. Just go with the default. If this is your first time playing World of Horror, it is recommended that you start with the spine-chilling story of School Scissors before trying more complex playthroughs. Sure, let's do it. The shitty, the <laughs> city of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. It's being demonetized. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at the last station. It's the end of the world, and you've finally arrived in the doomed town. Okay. Welcome to World of Horror. Important messages will display here. You've been following the weird cult for weeks now, barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. It's a race against time, and you can't rest until the town is safe. Combat tutorial? Honestly, let's turn it on. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it, a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. This is probably a good time to point out. There will probably be disturbing imagery. It is in 2D, but that doesn't mean if you are sensitive to that sort of stuff, you won't be perturbed. So please consider this your warning to turn back now or forever hold your peace. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic clues. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? You started a new mystery. Okay. Your friend has left you a notebook. By the way, you're not missing anything on the display here. Don't sweat it. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires the first requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil and then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. My storage is merely my friend's diary. Explore school, perform the ritual. Okay, let's explore the school. <laughs> Okay, investigating. The library. Impossible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. Stare in disbelief and then this needs Ikumi ally. Charisma check success. How is this possible? Minus one reason. Resolve this event. You feel like something horrible has happened within the school. You must hurry and find those items. Blessed shock not found, holy candles not found. Alright. Check out the school's lockers. Yo, Brimstone. Let's start uh, here. Whoa! What's that? Seems bad. Oh, you found a new item. Wooden bat. We've taken it. Uh, slightly dusty. Available actions. Equip or inspect. Let's equip that bad boy. Let's go. Uh, third locker. You need a tiny key to open this locker. Alright. 
Uh, let's go back and explore the school. Investigating the gym. You've run into gym doll. You've noticed a strange black doll propped up against the wall. Uh, come closer. Against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. It isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white, half-eaten corpse. Minus two reason. Our reason is being destroyed. Our sanity. Oh. You found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left on the roof. You must hurry and find it. Well, let's uh, peek outside then. Oh, I, 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 be careful, I remember this part. To open the door, click on the handle and drag the mouse. Hello, hello, sir! New achievement unlocked. You shouldn't risk that again. Okay, let's, let's not peek outside then. Let's, excuse me, I didn't mean to do that. Let's, let's go explore more of the school. Shouldn't check the door there. That door was, I don't think it was, uh, something was wrong with the hinges. You enter the damp smelling sport wing. You notice a backpack drifting on a swimming board in the middle of the pool. Could it be what you're looking for? Enter the water? I'd rather not. Suddenly the water turns murky. You realize you're not alone in the pool. A bloated figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. Sir? Bloated teacher. During each turn, you'll build a sequence of attacks and moves from the action ring. Once you've filled up the sequence bar, Press the Launch Sequence button to finish your turn. Fill the white bar with moves and click Launch Sequence to attack your enemy. Okay. Offensive actions. Uh, kick. Excuse me, where's my baseball bat? Kick. 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 Launch Sequence. You punch. Bloated teacher disappears underwater. With time, you'll discover new combat moves available through the action filter. But first, you need a weapon. Look and choose... Look... Find and choose an action called look for an improvised weapon. Okay. Look for an improvised weapon. I was ho hoping to just use my... Uh, my wooden bat as well, but there you go. Improv. That takes us to 120. And then can we throw in like a kick as well? Attack with your weapon. Strong attack. But it needs 92. This only needs 59. There you go. All right, let's send it. You missed the attack. Bloated teacher disappears underwater. Look, a new item has appeared in the upper right corner. That's your inventory. Click it and equip. Click it and find the equip button. Bloated. Uh-oh. Something is moving inside your stomach. I feel sick. Um, available actions. None. A little spooky. Alright, here's what I'm thinking. Attack with weapon. Attack. Oh, strong attack. And then maybe we could just kick. No, no, no. Next attack is guaranteed to hit one sec. Needs a firearm. Let's, let's launch it. You bash. You've sustained a new injury. Bloated. Two HP remains. So this should get you. All we gotta do is hit one. Thank God. Resolve combat. You defeated Bloated Teacher. You found the Blessed Chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual. You copy the sigil as best you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it'll be enough. I'm like that... It doesn't look right, but I'll give it to you. Let's, uh... Let's explore the school. We are a little beaten up, though. Substitute teacher. A tall woman with unsettling face and a twitching lip stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? Madam, I decline. She insists. Uh, she suddenly grabs your hand. Oh, I insist. Help her or oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I guess we will help her. The creepy substitute teacher hands you some old books to carry. Among the mundane titles, you find one called Extinction of Mankind. You shudder, feeling the teacher's gaze on your back, plus five experience. The sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. Okay. Spells and items. Let me take a look here. So for items, we still only have the bat. 
Oh, and a broken bottle. Equip. I mean, I feel like the wooden bat would be better. One-handed dex weapon, damage three, speed 90. Fast to equip. Hold on, hold on. No spells either. Oh no, we do have a spell, Cauterize. Plus two stamina, one time only. Cast this spell or forget this spell. Let's cast it. Our stamina has gone slightly up. Wooden bad. Let me look at the stats again. Two-handed, 480, 70. I think it's better. It's not like we have anything else in the other hand. So let's equip this son of a gun and explore the school. Investigating schoolyard. You hear a faint sound when walking outside of the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart still beating. The sight makes you sick. Minus one stamina. You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed. Everything's ready for the ritual. Perform the ritual then. Wait, what's that? Uh-oh. Continue. The sigil and holy candles don't seem to have any effect on this horrible monster. Had you drawn it wrong? Frozen in fear, you watch as the twitching horror gets closer and closer. It raises its enormous scissors and croaks. Am I beautiful? Prepare for combat. I don't know about this one. I, I feel like we made a terrible mistake. Hello, scissors, madam. Um, just be cool here, just be cool. How much HP do you have? 26! Spiritual actions. Clap. Part of a ritual. Most combat rituals are a combination of five bows and claps. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Defensive actions. You can't run. Meditate. Regain one reason at the cost of two stamina. Brace for impact. Lowers incoming damage by half and ignores any special attack. Drastically lowers the hit chance for the enemy. All right, let's try to dodge. And... Just smack one time? But we can, we can make our attack better, maybe. We can. We can get to 199. Oh, no, 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 we can't. That's 209, you fool. No, remove it, remove it. Clear it. Okay, hold on. We're going to get there, boys. Defensive actions. Dodge. Come here. Uh, kick is 55, so here's what we're going to do. Attack boost. Attack boost. Attack boost. Attack with your weapon. 199. You bash Scissor Woman. Scissor Woman raises her scissors. Alright. I will, uh... Again, I think it's very sensible. We should have attacked more on turn one. But we'll throw a little dodge in here. And we'll go back with attack boosts. And a near guaranteed hit. You bash her. You've sustained a new injury. Slit mouth. Minus one charisma, minus one strength. If anything, I think that should raise your charisma, just to be honest. Um, here's my new thinking. Just give me a second here. I had an idea. We don't need a desperate struggle yet. Maybe next turn. How about... Wasn't it in here? Meditate? Like, I think I want to... Lower reason and gain stamina? I thought we had both options. Lower reason, gain stamina. Yeah, how much does it cost? 20? That's not that bad. Let's do that. Let's pray. <laughs> uh, too many times. And then do the same thing here. Um, boost our attack. And then hopefully... Oh, it needs 62 now. But a kick can still land. Frozen in fear, you watch as she gets closer. Her sharp scissors are slowly cutting through your cheeks and she asks you, Am I beautiful? You've perished. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. We can do this, dude. We can do this. Warning. You will die at the beginning of your next encounter. Excuse me? That hardly seems fair. I want to see how things change run to run. 
You can see kind of the the meat and potatoes of it to start with. But I want to see how it changes as time goes on as well. Put me back on this the spine chilling story, please. Very familiar with the openings here. Okay. Start the mystery. Alright. I will see what my friends got going on and investigate this mystery. Explore school. Okay. I would like to beat the easy mission if possible. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me? Let's do it. We got plus five experience right off the bat with no negatives. Nothing else to find here. That's fine. Explore the school, please. We will head to the gym if you don't mind. You carefully enter the biology classroom. The room seemed empty at first. You gasp in horror. Lying in a pool of blood is one of the teachers with a fruit knife in their hand. There's a jar of formaldehyde on the nearest table. Mesmerized by the spiral pattern on the sea creature's skin, you step over the dead body and come closer. And then the voices start. Forgotten specimen. 14 HP and damages our reason. Okay, okay. Um... What a strange being. So I think, why don't we start with what the tutorial told us to start with. Pick up a random improvised weapon and then just do uh, boost our attack and then kick. You kick it. You can't break its gaze. <laughs> okay. Equip this weapon. Great start. And then just start bashing, brother. Just seeing how- hold on. Clear this out, I think we could do better. One of these, one of these, and then... I'm like, why don't you just put on... As many of those as you can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did three damage, did two damage. You involuntarily attack yourself. It only has seven HP, so here's my thinking. What if we did- we started our desperate... Our desperate plea. Is this it? Brace for impact. Hold on. I know it's here somewhere. I thought it was down here, but maybe it's in support actions. One time use. Ah, it needs your stam to be lower. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, put me back on offense. I don't. Ooh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Put me back on offense. And then what about this? This requires 107. Are you crazy? All right. Smack, smack, launch. You missed, you hit for four, that's bad. Everything in the classroom starts to wave. Hello, hello classroom. Here's what you do. Maximum attack boost. This, 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 send it. You prepare to strike. You defeated Forgotten Specimen. Pick it up. You found Lump of Flesh. You also found... Oh, the blessed chalk was left in the pool. Okay. We don't need to peek outside. That's fine. Lump of flesh. Medicine and eldritch. Use, use gives you plus five stamina. Flip this card. That seems scary. Let's use it. What happened? You gained a new status. Holes. Each day, more holes appear. Don't like that very much, to be honest. Don't like that very much at all. <laughs> you enter the damp smelling sports swing. I will enter the water. Let's let's go. You ready, bloated teacher? I got you. We're gonna hit you with a attack boost and then a basic attack. Hit you for seven right off the bat. You've only got nine HP left? Well you hit me a little bit, I don't care. I don't care. That's probably not going to get you. Hold on. I think you go like... How much does this take? 107. And this takes 69. So I think you do like... 1, 2... 1. Not quite. Can I just clear this one? Maybe not. So you do... 1, 2... 1... It did exactly the same thing. 1, 2... Straight into it. Uh, oh, it had 9 HP. It gurgles and murmurs. 
I'm gonna be here to tell you, you're done. Seven HP. Perhaps we can level up. You copy the sigil. This the sigil does not look right. Redraw it. My friend's friend's diary, please. You've retrieved an item from storage. The sigil. It's like a triangle and a couple of lines, and it looks like a man pooping. All right, understood. Let's close this bad boy up. Triangle. Wait, 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 wait. Man pooping. Yo, that's it, dude. <laughs> that's it, right? I didn't realize we had to look. That's it. Although, oh, those are just periods. Okay. Yo, I think we might get it. All right, explore more of the school. We still need the, the holy candles. You've run into a non-Euclidean 101. I will stare in disbelief and have my reason affected. Explore the school, please. Trophy case. You find a trophy case in a seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. Check the trophies. You find a small trophy with a curious plaque. Grand champion of the cannibal eating contest, minus two reason. All right, go ahead, resolve that event. You found the holy candles. Perform the ritual. The ritual was right this time. It, it was right this time. Yo, now is your chance to, defight, uh, to fight and defeat this horror. It is also your only chance. All right, this time... It's it's takeable, dude. It's takeable, it's makeable, and it's breakable. Uh let's hit him with the classic. Don't miss. Seven damage, I can live with that. What'd you do to me? You took away some of my reason. We're gonna do our classic uh attack setup. Four damage. <sighs> Missed an attack. Took a little bit more damage. I think we're safe though. Four damage, three damage. We only need to hit her for two. And we're we're not at risk, I think. I think you just make sure you land this attack with everything. With everything you've got. It needs 111 time. Just give me seven attack bonuses. Let's go! <laughs> Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. You find your friend gravely wounded but alive. You help him and you limp away from the school as police sirens get louder. Success! Ending A, implying more endings exist. Your playthrough lasted eight minutes. You must continue your investigation. Equipped the branch, nothing and nothing. Beautiful. Press Q to re- Oh, I didn't even see there was a continue button the whole time, you dummy. You think I grew up on this stuff, and yet still I couldn't even find the right button. That's okay, I'm not worried. It's Maybe it's a little bit of an eldritch horror. Um, but that's alright. So we're not gonna do any more just because I don't want to spoil anything. Um, there is a quick play mode as well. True Chaos. This option will start a new playthrough selecting a character, an old god, a background, and more. So it might have looked to the start with that, or to start with, I should say that every single run is gonna be like exactly the same. I think that this is essentially just your tutorial mission, and then you get into some more variety with this other stuff. It's really, really inventively done. It's really cool, and uh, I would be surprised to not see more of this on the channel for sure. I think this is a great fit for streams. Uh, Especially solo stuff, obviously. Um, and I didn't actually know that it was a roguelite. I thought it was like a curated horror adventure. Um, and it obviously has events that are similar to that, but I, I like... You know, in a lot of roguelites, it's like, you could take a potion. The potion could be invisibility, or it could be poison. We don't know, isn't that crazy? This one is like, hey, you got a lump of flesh, you want to eat it? Uh, now you got holes all over your body. What does that mean? I don't know, but it piques the imagination more than just, hey, red potion equals health, right? Um, this seems really cool. Again, I should reiterate, I did receive a code for free from the developers. Thank you for that. If you want to see more, just ask. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe. But beyond that, really cool, really interesting, novel concept for a game. Go check it out on Steam. I put the link in the video description below. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. See ya!